everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this adorable memory wire charm bracelet using the Potomac Beads Spun Sugar Serenade Box for April of 2024. I'm calling this Cotton Candy Paradise. That's what I'm naming this because it's just, it looks like, this reminds me of going to the carnival when I was a kid and riding on the rides and eating cotton candy that looked like all of these colors in there. <laughs> and that was paradise to me. So Cotton Candy Paradise is the name of this bracelet. And I'm using the treasure um, box, formerly the regular box from them. Um, the techniques that they use for this are stringing, weaving, and freeform. There's 10 to 20 different packs of stash beads in it. And the stash beads may include a new collection each month, the same product in multiple colorways, of course. Um, there's also, you have to follow them on YouTube. I will leave their link below. There's two to three inspirational videos provided for each box. Allie has been going just crazy on YouTube, making the most beautiful jewelry. So you can learn so much from her. Um, there's premium stash beads. There's crystals, check glass, pearls, seed beads, premium metals, and other things like that. Um, it is beginner friendly and past boxes will become available a la carte after several months. And also there's five golden tickets in each box. And if you get one, um, you contact them for whatever they are offering. I don't know what it is, but um, I'm sure something good. Um, and the price monthly for this is $39.99. If you price it quarterly, it's $34.99, so you save $60 a year. And if you price it annually, it's $29.99, so you save $120 a year. So you cannot beat that. So I will leave a link below to the unboxing for this month's box in case if you haven't seen everything in it. So um, the only thing I used that wasn't in there was these, and these were from a past box. These are Miyuki Seed Beads 11-0 Silver Lined Lights, and these are absolutely gorgeous. I have been using these for so many of my projects. So if you want to learn how to make this gorgeous bracelet, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting with some memory wire, and I cut it, so I'm going to have five different um, layers to it. And then I'm using, I'm just going to show you these, the round, um, the round dual beads in white Lilla Luster. So I've got these, and these are actually, um, it, the hole doesn't go right through the center, it's off on the side. So it kind of will do like a zigzag cross pattern. And these are the check faceted rounds, the pink mix. Even though you can't really see too much pink in them, you can just, just like a little hint. And then I have the check flat, run, check flat rondelles in light yellow. I can't talk today. <laughs> and then I have these gorgeous, fun beads. These remind me of like cotton candy, like going to the, the circus or going to like a, one of the fairs and, you know, riding on the rides and getting cotton candy. And then I have these gorgeous fire polish beads. And then these are the checklist long by cones. And then I'm using two of the checklist leaves beads in Peridot AB. I'm using two six millimeter jump rings. And I'm using some of the Potomac Beads Miyuki Seed Beads in Silver Lined Lights. These are 11 O's. I like to use these for um, little um, spacer beads. And I'm using some of the ones, the Miyuki Seed Beads, the Duracoat Opaque T-Rose and 8 O. I think that was everything. I'm trying to... Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So let me move these out of the way. And I will start... Move those over there. And put the oh, and I'm using the two butterflies as well. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put some of the these right here. Just to start with. Okay, so what I like to do, <clears throat> I have this beetle on. This is used for memory wire. I use this to cut it. This is a special memory wire cutter because if you use your regular um, cutters, you'll break them. 
So I have, um, let me stretch this. Where is my, this is what I'm using. Beetle on stainless steel memory wire for large bracelet. So I'm using that. And then I do something different than some of the other people do. A lot of people do their circle down. I do mine up, but then I bend it so that it doesn't, um, so, okay, so I'm taking this and I'm going to wrap it around here. So I take it like this and then I just go around once. My hand is slippery. I put a little lotion on before I did this and I should have known better. <laughs> okay. I do that. I'm going to kind of pick that up again like that. Then I take, I put it back in like this. And I just bend it just a teeny bit. So this is how it looks. So it's even with everything, if that makes sense. Okay. And I will do the little charms at the end. So my favorite way to make a memory wire bracelet is to lay everything out. And when I use these pink ones, I'm going to use these in groups so that they have like that fun little gathering on them. Okay, so this is what I do as I take, I kind of move these out of the way now that I dumped everything out. So I kind of just take this tip, you don't want to overstretch it, but it's really kind of hard to do that. And I just start picking up the beads. I'm doing three of those. And then I'm going to do silver, 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 and an orange, tea rose. So, and I like to do layers on here. Silver, 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 orange, and then you see how it's easier to just pick them up like that? It's easier and much faster. And I'm going to do three more of these. One, two, three. So that's kind of like what I'm working on right there, and I'm going to then I just kind of open it up and let it go down. I know that was out of camera. It's kind of hard to show that. Now I'm going to go back and do this little set again. I'm going to do one, two, three, and two rows, and then another one, two, three, two rows. And then one, two, three. Okay, then I'm going to do one, two, and three. <clears throat> so open that up, let that go all the way down. So I have this. I'm going to do one more now. Oh. Okay. Do one. Two, three, T rows, one, two, three, and T rows. And then three more. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm gonna do three more of these. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm lifting that all the way up. So this is what we have so far. I just, when I do memory wire bracelets, I like to do little like patterns and then it doesn't have to come all the way to here to start a new pattern. I like to start a little behind so that way everything's not perfect. You know, it's kind of zigzag. Okay, now I'm gonna do the pink ones. So, and I will show you 
I'm going to pick up at least five. Three, four, and five. Okay. Now you see when you hold these together, see how they make that little zigzag? That will give it some really cool texture in here. So you have, I'm trying to grab them all. Let me get it over here. Okay, so see how it gives you the texture. I think that looks so pretty. So I'm gonna do a few more. I'm gonna do four more. Six, so it'll be nine. Seven. Eight and one more. Eight and nine. Okay, so now I have all of these. Yeah, so see, isn't that pretty? It just adds, like, you know, you see how you have the green, all that, and then go over here. <clears throat> My voice is a little raspy today. Okay. Now I'm going to do some, I'm going to do an orange and a clear orange and a clear orange and a clear. I'm calling it orange. I could call it tea roll, tea, tea rose. I love the colors in this month's box. So you, I begin, so one, two, three, four. So I have seven of those. Let me bring this down. So you see how it's, so I'm gonna kind of keep my finger right there. So I have that. So now I'm going to add, let me get these over here. So now I'm gonna do Three blues, one, two, three. Drag that all the way down. Just for a little color blocking. That's what I like to call it. Okay, and then I'm gonna do nine more of these again. One, Two. Bring these over here. Two, three, four, <clears throat> five, wait, five, and then four more to have nine. So that way, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, and nine. So that way, when you look at the bracelet, let me get it all down, I'll just show you. Okay, so when you see that, see how it's on both sides now? So no matter how you wear it, you could see it like that. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to go and I'm going to do that, the crystal and the orange again. I'm just going to do five of each. One, two, three, four. Five, and then of course I'm gonna end with another orange to finish that off. Okay. So you see how that's looking so far? And I love all the layers. And I try not to have 
So when you're wearing it, it doesn't have the same things on each side. <clears throat> so now after that, I'm gonna put some of these gorgeous beads on. Got too many beads again on my thing and I'm getting out of focus. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna call this bracelet cotton candy because it just, that's what it reminds me of. Oh gosh, I love these beads. It's like they reached right into my childhood when they found these. That green one. <clears throat> all down. So see how the... Okay, so now I have that. So now what I would like to do is just do a little row with some of the silver ones just to add a little extra sparkle. Okay, so I'm going to hold this like like this. I'm just going to go in, I'm going to take like 15 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15. Okay. I've got that. So let's see. And I, I kind of just wrap it around. I see where it's laying. And I see what's, you know, like, so I'm not going to do any more pink right here. Because there's pink right here. I would do some pink, like, right here to kind of balance that out. But now I'm going to do the yellow ones because these are gorgeous. And I love all the different shapes and textures this month. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll do seven this time. There. Do I have that? Now I'm going to do three more of these blues. One, two, three. Okay, so I have that there. So now I'm going to do a little, um, I call it, I don't know, color blocking or whatever you want to call it, where I take a silver, instead of doing this pattern, like three silvers and an orange. I'm going to do silver, orange, silver, orange, silver, orange. And it just adds um, like another section of color, I guess you could say. I'm going to do 10 of each, of each. Three. Three. <clears throat> Make sure I'm in. Four. Four. Five. Five, six, six, seven, seven. So see how it does that? Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and then end with another orange one. And then see how it just gives that. So when you see it up against everything else. See how it just gives a different look to the bracelet. That's how I do, you know, when I do my patterns, I like to switch it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do some more of the yellow ones. One, two, three. So I'll do like a color block of just one color and then I'll do a pattern. So you get that. 
and now I have paint that pink it's right here and right here so I'm gonna put some right here okay so I think I did nine one two three four five so I did nine so I'm gonna do nine again I'm gonna stay with that same number so I'm gonna do one two three four five six seven eight nine so then no matter how you wear the bracelet see there's a little pink there a little pink there and then a little pink right there so and it just kind of and I'm sure I'll do one more at some point not sure what okay so now I'm gonna get some more of these I'm gonna finish off <clears throat> these right here because I love these so there's are right here so now I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some more of these green ones the long ones two three so I went past where this is right here when you see how it was be laying so now I'm gonna go and do fill up the other side with these There we go. So now we have that. So now we have the pink wrap right here, right here, and right here. So I'm gonna put just a little bit right here. Just to finish that off, I'm gonna put another nine. And that will probably be all I'll do for that. One, two, three, four, Four, oh, hmm. four, five, five, six, seven, and two more. Eight and nine. So now, no matter how I wear this bracelet, you will see these these pink ones. Because to me, that's the funnest part of it. Okay, and now I'm going to do a few more of the silver ones next to it. Do another thing of them. I'm going to probably do 15 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. So now I have the silver over here and the silver over here. So now I'm going to get some more oranges. I'm going to do another different pattern and I'm going to do, so I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to do an orange and then a green, orange and a green, orange, and a green. Orange, green, orange, green. Orange, green, 
and then end it with an orange. I like to begin and end with the same one. Look at that so far. Look at all those pretty little sections. And as long as you make sure that they're not on the same side, that's just how I do them. I know some people like to do one full round and then another full round. That's not usually how I like to do them. Okay, so now, where's my other ones at? Okay, I'm going to get the rest of these out because I know I'm going to do another one because <laughs> they're just so much fun. So now I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to do um, a green, a blue, a green, a blue, and a green. Do I have that? So now I'm going to do <clears throat> an orange, silver, orange, silver, orange, silver. Mm. Okay. We have that. So now I'm going to take, put these over here, and take these crystal beads. And I'm actually going to intertwine some of the crystals with some of the silver. Just because it'll give it like kind of a, a different look to it because they're both very light. But yet they have different hues to them. So the I think the sparkle will actually bounce off each other. And add a different shimmer onto the bracelet. Because it's all about the shimmer, baby. <laughs> Okay, did I get pick up two? No. No, just one. Okay. So see how see how that just gives it that little shimmer, but yet that little silver pops in there as you're looking at it like that. Let me do a few more. Okay, so we ended with the bigger one. The crystal. So now we're going to do silver, crystal, silver, crystal, silver, crystal, silver, and then crystal. I'm showing this whole thing so if you do have Potomac beads box and you want to try making this with me, you can follow me along. Okay, now I'm going to do some pink here again, but it's going to start right here, so it will end up a little um, different. Two, three. So now I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four, and then I'm going to do a crystal like that, because it will still push those in. And then I'm gonna do another four. One, two, three, four, and another crystal. And then Four more. One, two, three, four. So see how it's kind of broken up then? There, so it's even totally different from the other ones. Okay, and now I'm going to do a few more of the crystal and silver. So one, two, three and four, so four of the Miyuki's and five of these crystals, like this. And then I'm gonna do a blue, 
and then a crystal. I'm going to finish it off in blue. And then I'm going to do some, some orange right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I think nine. And I'm going to do another blue. And a smaller crystal. Okay. So now I have all this. Add one more orange bead too. There. So I have about a third of an inch right there left. So now I'm going to take this. I'm going to round that back. And then I'm going to stick that back in there. I'm going to open that up like that. And just kind of adjust that. There we go. Okay. So this is the bracelet. Now we got to put our bling on it. Oh, wait, I'm going to use these oranges. That's right. Okay. So move the bracelet aside for a second. And we have these two. So I'm going to take my then chain of pliers. And I'm going to open this. And I'm going to put one seed bead. Oh. Okay, we got the guys who are outside mowing the lawn again, of course. So we got seed bead. And we got the leaf. And we have the butterfly, and then we have one more seed bead. Okay, so now I have this. Now what I would like to do is make sure that the butterfly is facing outwards when I put this on. So I move this around. So I'm gonna go to where this is, put that on. I love having charms on my memory wire bracelets. If it doesn't have charms to me, it's it's too boring for me. <laughs> so see how that, we got the little leaf and the little butterfly charm. And now we're gonna do the other side. This is so cute. What a fun spring summer bracelet. Okay. So we're gonna do, we get two of these. We're gonna do a seed bead. Here, I'm going to do it this way so that it's already the right way. Because you want to make sure that it's facing that. And then the seed bead. Okay. And then you go over here. I hope you enjoyed me showing you how I layer my memory wire bracelets. I haven't done one in a while. I've sold so many of these on Etsy. It's crazy. I love making them too. So see that little charm there now? You got it. And I also, when I cut my memory wire bracelets, some, I mean, everybody's different. I like to cut it so that, let me lay this down so you can see what I'm talking about. So that you have a charm on one side and a charm on the other. So when you're wearing it, let me show you. <clears throat> so when you put it on, it's no matter which way it's facing, you've got little dangles. See what I'm saying? What a fun bracelet. I love the way this turned out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, I have uh, the link to Potomac Beads below. Spun Sugar Serenade is the April box that I used for this. And I do have another tutorial coming up for two different pairs of earrings. So stay tuned for that. 
and I have all of my social media below, my Etsy, Instagram, Pinterest, and my Facebooks. And I would love it if you would follow my YouTube channel. Like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel and the algorithms so people can find these videos and they can have as much fun as I do making jewelry. <laughs> so thank you so much again for joining me, and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.